How's it finally feel to, you know, kind of carve out a role on this offense? You're starting to get more and more touches, more and more plays. Uh, it feels good. It feels real good to be back out there uh, making plays. So, yeah. Okay, what it, what's it been like? Has this been everything you thought it would be when Mark came and kind of laid out what the offense was going to be? Oh, yeah. It, when, it, when he pulled it out and was showing me, like, what we got or whatever, we was practicing in the uh, indoor, I knew it was going to be something special. So, yeah. Does it kind of take some pressure off you knowing that Mac and French get a lot of the, a lot of the looks on the defensive end? Uh, yeah, but at the same time, I'm trying to take the pressure off them when I step on the field too. So, yeah. what have you learned from them, from those two? Um, you know, they always sit down with me and try to teach me how to do my drills because I was always trying to rush through things. You know, with my speed, I always thought speed was the way, but they showed me how to be patient more in my routes and just little things like that, little details. About the biggest thing you've learned from Coach Beatty? There's so much Coach Beatty has taught me ever since he's been here. So, like, it's not, there's so many things what I can talk about. What are some of the things that you could? I mean, like, little stuff like when you cutting out of a route, you got to have turn on your toe when you're breaking out in order to, like, get your hip to project that. Like, it's just a bunch of little things that make my game better so, that he taught me. Do you think when, when high school recruits or high school players see, an offense with a lot of passes being thrown that it, it, you, you, it automatically attracts a recruit to a, a program like that? For sure, because if I know if I was a recruit looking in right now, I mean, this would be the perfect spot for me, all the passing and throws going around. So, yeah. Well, you re, you committed here before they started yeah, before throwing all that, so yeah. you came anyway. Though. Yeah, I just love Pittsburgh. Yeah. Pittsburgh, yeah. Second, what is playing Miami? For you. Well, you know, I'm from the crib, so I can't wait to play them boys. You know, they real fast, but um, just can't wait to have the opportunity to play against them. Did you have a chance to play for them? Nah, they ain't never look at me. So that probably sticks with you? Yeah, you know, it stick with me in the back of my head. I ain't really thinking about it now. I'm a Pitt Panther now, so, you know, I'm just out. We're going to see the results Saturday. Do you have some of the guys on the <clears throat> Miami no, team? No, sir. I know Al Blaze. That's it. Did it bother? Did it bother seventeen-year-old shot you know, that he wasn't getting looked at by fans? Yeah, for sure. Like, cause Florida State one, uh, they hadn't offered me or Florida. I, I was just offered by like USF, UCF, and it sucks being like back home that the schools that's back home with you not looking at you. You know what I'm saying? And I was like Florida State, Florida's last resort when I was about to sign to Pittsburgh. They called, but Miami never even looked. At all. Never picked up the phone. Never. What did you say to Florida State and Florida when they made those last ditch efforts? I had already signed, so I had oh, told you them. Like, oh. Yeah, I had already signed that morning, so I was like, Oh, it was yeah, signing day. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I was like, Yeah, I had already signed. So How many hours after signing did they call you? Well, like an hour after you signed. They seen I hadn't posted anything. Okay. Um, they seen I didn't post any because I was going to announce it that night, or whatever. But I signed early in the morning, so they called. They was like, We seen you haven't committed anywhere, signed anywhere. I was like, no, nah, I signed to Pittsburgh. I'm just letting everybody know the name. Shaki, the game last year down there, I know it was frustrating. You know, I'm anxious for you guys to kind of show how far the offense has come to that point. We've come a long way from last year um, with with a lot of things. Like, we just matured, the group matured. You know, we got these new coaches, new offense, and we're definitely ready to beat them this year. Like, last year shouldn't have happened like that. We're going to get it correct this year. What have you seen uh, different from, you know, Kenny, maybe even from the first game till now? Well, uh, he de he looks at all his reads. Like, he throws on point pretty much. Um, he's just getting better as a player. He feels more comfortable in the huddle. He talks to us, lets us know what he wants us to do, and we just execute it.